also have my volume up way too loud. And ironically have my own microphone uh, set to quiet. Okay. I uh, did a fair bit of fucking around. Uh, mainly because I was actually since the demon wings were the reason that I was doing a fair amount of that murder. I uh, should probably show them off. I also went after a few additional achievements. Now, both of them are the same type of achievement. So, we only have... Fifty thousand gold, six hundred damage, and a thousand damage left. And I'm not grabbing anything right now because I said previously that I wouldn't be doing the fifty thousand gold one. And I found out. No, when you are sitting there hitting up conflicts for like eighty battles you get a lot of money. Don't want to sell those. A lot of this other stuff can be sold. I have enough slimy goops and other things that I'm not worried about that. Um, as I mentioned in the read as well as with my tweet. I think with my tweet. Oh no, I can't actually see my tweet anymore. Um, I am going to be focusing on chests uh, this go around. Uh, that's what happens when I uh, mouse off. That was not my intent. Now, the only one that I'm going to actually grab here is Final Battle is Planned. I don't think Hero Supplement will be as important as getting uh, one of the additional pieces of armor that's real dang good. For some reason, I couldn't move after that. Okay, so this this would have been ten grand. Um, instead, I'm going to purchase the expensive stone, as well as the plant. Actually leaves me with 2k left over. I had forgotten how expensive the expensive stone was. Oops. Now, the black ladybug is a very, very good piece of armor. It actually kind of sucks as armor, but it's, it's really good at uh, bumping up your stats, as you can see here. may not be able to see the uh actually no i think i think that's still kind of visible it, it does provide i think that's 20 um skill base and i think overall it's just better as a armor uh because of course it uh or as a uh, all-purpose Because there are lots of really good armors and not all of them actually provide all that much defense when they're in the all-purpose slots now I'm going to 
going to need to replace something with the twin tail. Um, I'm going to do the Leviathan. Where in the world is my... If this were actually super important, um, or if I was going to be out here for a while, I would have gone and healed, but effectively it's one encounter. Well. If it's more than one encounter, uh, like you saw that last one, it uh, walked to the left, you're pretty much just fucked. Your, uh, your best result is actually going to be if the first one walks a step back, rather than taking a step towards you, but I don't think I've ever seen that happen. I certainly don't recall it happening anyway. Barely good enough. Keep in mind how strong we are. And that was barely good enough. Also, for some reason, that kills the music. And uh, even though the Aegis is not difficult to make, we obviously cannot make another I didn't notice if those things dropped anything, which is the real reason I had the uh, Aegis, or not Aegis. Lucky rabbit on. Now, the Footfalls of Hope are pretty decent. They provide some attack, some skill, um, and they have extra attack plus one. Now, in and of itself, that's not that big of a deal. Um, especially because they don't have any evade or magic defense. Oh, actually. Let's get that back to the Zara sword. No, no, because because I'm going to be going around, I do want that, uh, that lucky rabbit still. Now, basically, the reason that I'm going to be going around is to maximize the number of empty bottles I have. And also to clear out chests. Obviously, that took out the, uh, the nest from having a chest I had not grabbed. And it took one from the unmapped area. We are not going to be finishing that other one up quite yet. Its recipe is nothing special, and actually requires me to kill the uh, great rat out in front. The I don't remember what the items there are. 
Probably just a glass fragment. Mm, something similar. Oh, I should. Well, it really doesn't actually matter. In none of these areas is it going to matter that it's something mediocre. Oh, and actually, this is this is not the entrance we want to go into. Because it's actually at the front of the hamlet. But we missed something. So, let's go to the back end of the Demon King's castle. It always, still to a certain extent, surprises me that there is no uh, Japanese text for that. And we need to go. I can actually just show you. The opposite side there where that path leads. I didn't do this off screen, off stream, is basically entirely I didn't want any com actual completion stuff to be done uh, where there wouldn't be a record of it. Grinding stuff out's one thing. So now we want to go to the fans. The uh, quick entrance to the sands. Or I guess I should say the tower entrance for the sands. And we have one to the left here and one to the right here. Actually already on screen. are more stat boosts. Conversely, I believe that the uh, the shore is probably going to be our first, um, not first, uh, the shore, I think one of them is a fragment and the other is, uh, oh, that might be a bottle. I don't really remember. Huh, something in the sands can actually do. And in substantial amount, but still damage. And I found out that uh, yesterday, when I thought I had been... Uh, doing it without a compressor or anything of the sort, I was actually still running it through my fairly standard setup. Today, that's not the case. Today, I actually checked it. Um, but yesterday was the standard setup I'd been using for a while. So if it sounded any different, that's entirely on not having the 100 hertz roll off. I was thinking about doing the disease first, but... And we're not yet at the great rat here, so I'm not too concerned. I think there's still three or four killer rats. I think I went and saved when, when we came across the first one, and there's five of them. So there should still be three.
basically the two chests that I missed are both in this room. Which actually kind of makes it make sense why I missed them. But one requires me to go left here and the other one requires me to go right. I'm starting with this one because I can easily get back to uh, that spot. Oh, and uh, since I didn't actually talk about it, one of the reasons that I was interested in getting a extra attack item for my characters, for all my characters, is that it doesn't just go off and work on attacks. It also works on recover SP when defending. Which is dumb as hell. But it's... You know, okay, you have then an agility percent chance to recover 20% of your SP instead of 10%. Well, with the way that... Um, it's up here. Yeah. For instance, Eretz is set up. That would be, like, a better than 60% chance of getting, I think it's almost enough to do healing magic, so pretty damn close to being able to do a healing magic every other turn. So 60 HP every other turn for free. actually have to go down a room and then it's to the right. I wasn't good at navigating this area when it was relevant. I've... It's, it's just too samey for me. There's no landmarks. There's no features that I can readily identify. this shortcut. Although I don't know that it's actually quicker to use that to get back to the nest than it is to use to walk up to... Well, actually, no, the Mirage is like four or five screens of walking to get there. And its path to the next... next... to the nest is fairly long. Uh, I do actually have to be careful, a bit careful, uh, going into the disease. We are a lot stronger than we were when it was relevant. But strong is definitely not immortal, especially in this case. I think this is actually the exact opposite, because I don't think this leads anywhere. Getting 
those on their own is great. How the hell to get to where we actually need to go? This is it. Just. And I think this is the cabin that uh, Aaron Aaron stole the chimney out of. to the north of there was where we needed to go to uh, get Eretz. I'm going to double check what we should be, aside from the unmapped area and the imagination. All full. area of the imagination there are two that I missed now there's also the issue of well where do I want to put the footfalls of hope I don't think I want to replace the demon wings just because well they're actually what's going to make that defend rel or that extra attack relevant Ultimately, they, these will provide more uh, skill and attack than the Stained Wings, so... Which 
starting from the first area because uh, due to the fact that I was in a hurry, I miss. That was interesting. I actually don't remember how strong these are. I guess not that strong. And actually, we should really switch back over to uh, having extra attack on Camille. really just seemed like it was because I was rushing at the time. But that's one of them. Oops. Well, I really hadn't intended to pick up that many enemies, but uh, I guess it happens. One nice thing about uh, Randolph being at uh, 79 max SP is that is pretty close to the point at which he is getting the maximum amount of potential SP regen. Uh, the next one's actually in here. I thought I had gotten everything. was wrong. I'm actually just gonna hop out there for to let the healing work. Uh, now something that I discovered by looking at the map, not by actually doing anything, uh, is that to the far northwest of this, that's where the switch is to turn off the uh, the poison. There's no path. It's just that's where the switch is. So, there's no way to turn it off without cheating. Is I guess what I'm really saying there. for that actually probably is a little bit quicker. that Dragon Slayer has a... Well, okay. Dragon Slayer has a few advantages over the other various spells. I know it, it uh, ignores 20% extra defense relative to Lightning and Light Axe. I believe it further has a higher base power relatively by a small amount. Um, like 10% higher. But I think it also has a larger contribution from strength, and, s and I don't think it's skill, but I, I think it uh, just the the combination of the higher power, larger contribution from strength, and ignoring 20% extra, ignoring half armor instead of 30% armor, just make it a hell of a lot stronger in basically every circumstance. 
we actually missed one in the sky area. It's actually faster to go back the way we came from. Part of that, though, is that these are fairly short areas. And the final area for, well, the first couple areas for Sky are very short. And the last couple areas are much longer. Um, now it's the snow area. Uh, this could end up bad. the advantages of having a million uh, balls. But this is actually the area with the majority of the chests I missed. that did just enough to uh,
contemplating if it'd be quicker to uh, try to just return. Or to keep going. And honestly, in an odd sort of way, I think it'd be a lot faster just to uh, return. And one of the reasons is it would definitely increase the safety margin a fair amount. We're not getting that low on bottles. But it's still lower than I'd like. Kind of bugged out a little bit. Ah, it's open. chest. Also, we want to keep way the hell away from that uh, fairy. And it's the one non-red encounter here. each other, but I don't know if... It looks like it's good enough. And the final chest is actually one that we could see when I walked past it. It just, I was not uh, in a position to try to grab it at the time. become a hell of a lot stronger than he used to be. Which is a good indicator of just how good, uh, both levels and actually I think in this case it is probably still going to be faster to go back because that last uh, screen still has just a hell of a lot of enemies. This is going to go 
poorly. Especially since they are not stacked up enough for Light Axe to hit more than one. Should be enough for another bottle or two. Almost two. Once we can uh, purchase the chimney, which is a hell of a lot of gold. Unfortunately, a lot of the things we actually have in any type of volume don't sell for a lot. And I'll purchase these eventually, but the, uh, the chimney is of... of vastly higher importance. Right, we have cleared out every chest we have seen, aside from the two up top. I'm going to sell a little bit more and grab the hero supplement. So probably some of the various other less expensive items in the... No. Oh. Hey, we have everything but uh, deal a thousand damage. So the worst part about that is that... If you were able to get that without any type of buff. So we are... I don't know if we're set to 11 of 12, or if we're set to 10 of 12, because we use the Aegis. We still need, I think it's 44 chests to get to 260.
given that that costs basically nothing. Um, I think the only one I'm, I am going to skip is going to, well, intentionally skip, I guess I should say, uh, at this point is going to be Waterboy Resolve. But, uh, the various stat boosts for Camille and Randolph are both very useful. And before we go into the regular final boss... Oh, actually we can make, I think... Oh no, I did that off screen. Now we have enough uh, items to buff a whole bunch of stats a bit. We have a few items that increase critical, of which Camille is by far the most important person there. But I'm going to hold off until we are actually in the uh, area, because I'm, I am going to want to... Uh, I think probably even. On that. And I mean, I'd like to have the Footfalls of Hope at a higher level. But I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Now, one of the things that the final battle as planned does is it changes a few pieces of equipment. One of those is the Rat Slayer. Rat Slayer, of course, having some importance to Laudnar. Now, unfortunately, it does not change any of the other weapons. Now, ones that I think, you know, would be decent candidates for that would be things like the Alma Moon. I don't have it, but the Xenogalus. The reason for that is the description for the Xenogalus, the 5,000 gold sword, is Eretz's sword. And, you know, I would think that the Ares' clothes would be a good candidate for that as well. Because, of course, these are, are items that have relevance to the characters and thus relevance to the story. Um, and there's also a way to cheat, I guess, the final battle. If you get your attack above, I think it's 500, and you don't have a weapon equipped, you can punch the otherwise immortal part of the final boss to death. It's just as dumb as it sounds. I'm not going to show that off. I would need basically need to cheat to do that anyway. Because uh, I think, realistically, you need to get up to like 50s, 55, without uh, stat boosts, and with stronger gear than I have. Just, just as a qualifier there. Um, but... Yeah, we're healed. We're saved. I'm gonna 
drop the crit items on her. It also gives the exhilaration status, which is eh, it's better than nothing. I should probably actually have a, uh, I think in this case we're going to get better results out of swapping those. This is the reason why I saved before I used these. Now, Camille is actually in an interesting spot. She has the most HP and I think the most SP. She is not necessarily going to hit the hardest every time, but she should get two attacks most of the time, and when she crits, she'll be doing good damage. Should be doing good damage. And I think it's appropriate that this has the title theme. to take out the things it summons. That's annoying. That is actually super annoying. Uh, partially because she is the one who can actually take out those damn things. kidding me. Uh, uh, fuck? Now, since it's not obvious, what the book did is it set a flag on Randolph. Separation is the most terrifying thing it can do. If it then used its ability to activate that flag, Randolph's gone for the entire encounter, get fucked.
can always miss, and with, uh... All of the evasive gear. Specifically, I think it's just that varnished birdwing is the only thing that has evade, but I mean, that's still, I think, 20%, almost 20% chance to, uh, get missed by anything. is the dangerous one. That's not to say that the dragon is not dangerous, it's that the dragon, hard as it hits, isn't as bad as the tower. And that collection foreshadowing is the scary move if it's uh, been doing a lot of uh, foreshadowing. And if you're having trouble reading the health pools, well, yeah, that's that's just something that kind of happens with the. Uh, part is unique to having final battle as planned. If you take on the mantle of the Demon King, I will take up my sword and play hero. Transcending time, the story finally reaches its conclusion. Well, who do we have here? We have Sarah. Also, I... I'm not sure who the Zara of the Zara Sword and Mantle are referring to. Rat Slayer, as mentioned, became Dragon Slayer. And, obviously, Eretz became Ritzia. Complete with a fairly significant bump in skill and uh, SP. And new magic. Now, healing magic's like two-thirds is powerful. Um, the all-hit-everybody version. So that's with the higher skill probably still like 80 to everybody. And that's very silently buffed. 50% instead of 40%. And I think it has higher multipliers or ignores more uh, more defense. Yeah, we never got her, uh, heavens, whatever the hell it is. Hmm. I don't know. Sarah should go first there, but... Oh, 
yeah, the final boss can occasionally just make you skip two turns. It sucks. Defense down might hurt. Might hurt a lot. I think it's going to heal too much. And hero supplement definitely now. Everybody does get their cut ends, which is, you know, of course, real, real neat. that's annoying about the defending you have to do when you have skip status as opposed to the defending you do oh no never mind I was just missing the uh... Uh, SP recovery Just kill somebody, flat out. But she doesn't have that much health. What kind of story is the final chapter? Are you sure you want to know? Sure. All right, I'll tell you. The final chapter is... It's the story of the heroes from the previous chapters. Fighting a very strong enemy. Sounds like my kind of story. So it's like a compilation of everything up until now? I am actually your final enemy. The Demon King. Wait, it's just you? Well, I'm still excited, I guess. So, including me, the three heroes will fight you, huh? Just the thought gets me excited. If you call yourself heroes, I will take on the mantle of the Demon King and destroy everything. This real body of mine might be at its end. But in my fantasy world, 
You guys don't stand a chance. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, look forward to it. Well then, I don't want to waste any more of your precious time. I'll come by again in ten days. Which means... This will be our last meeting. Yeah, it will. Things will be lonelier without you. Oh, that's right. In about ten days. Is it okay if I set your story adrift? Yeah, do whatever you want. Wait, what do you mean when you say adrift? I'm going to throw it in the river. That's all. What the hell? What's going to happen to the book? No idea. Might sink at some point. Could reach the continent. Might even be picked up by someone. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually interesting. I like not knowing what will happen. Looks like you like the idea. Well then, see you in ten days. Yeah. Looking forward to the ending. All right. Oh, one more thing. About the story's ending. Who wins in the end? You want to know? I'd love to. The winner in the end is... A secret. What? It's not very interesting if you already know the ending, right? Guess you got me there. Well, looking forward to kicking butt in the last chapter. Do your best. Don't lose too easily. I won't. You better finish it. Of course. Look forward to seeing it ten days from now. Alrighty. Looking forward to the finale. Sure. See ya. Yeah. Oh, that's right. One last thing. What's the name of the story? Oh, uh, I actually haven't decided yet. I figured... Since you're here, you decide. What? This is a pretty important role. Hmm. You don't need to think so hard about it. Just pick something at random. Something random? Yeah. Well, how's this? Name it after the final chapter. Demon King Chronicle. This story, it just exists. It's not meant to cheer up the disillusioned masses. It's not meant to give courage to some unknown hero. It just exists. However, it will still find its way into someone's heart. And that will give rise to a new story.
And that's the end of Camille's story. Also, it's apparently raining like hell out, out here where I live. Now, that does not give us anything. Despair awaits you in the deepest chasms of the world. Unfortunately, we can't keep Ritzia. We can't keep the Dragon Slayer. Now we can go back and fight that at any time. But it doesn't change. I don't know that that actually sets a flag of any kind, being honest. I know one possibility that it does not do. Actually, I know, even if we were to have gotten the deal a thousand damage, uh, that wouldn't set it because that doesn't get saved. Uh, if anything does get saved, it's completely and totally unrelated to that. Also, I just realized why my headphones weren't turning down. I was turning the wrong dial. And that's still not done. That's still not done. And of course, that didn't give us a recipe. Because I believe we are set up to take it, I am going to uh, go for that great rat now. Oh, this one's the uh, the one from before we used the crit stuff. I'm not real sure that the uh, crit stuff made a difference. Oh, actually, well, I don't know which battle it would have been, but obviously it only lasts a single battle. Do we have the correct... Yeah. Now, the interesting thing there... Basically, that's annoying as hell. Sporadic Guard has made it so that this is a significantly less dangerous fight. As for that matter, did uh, Black Lady Bugs prevent Stagger? I do want to finish leveling that up, though. Fortunately, in the armor slot, the... Uh, Splendid Leviathan does the same thing. And once 
once that's leveled up, that might be... what we use, or pretty close to what we're using for a while. Um, we may switch weapons. There's a few weapons down in the, uh, the Cave Chronicle that may work a bit better. Now I'm going up here to get Eret set up for the drop. As you see, I have several slimy goops. Basically, anything that doesn't bump your HP, you can safely switch over to something that does bump your HP. To let you more safely do these drops. Because after the fact, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're going to take off all of the stuff that was just bumping your HP anyway. And swap it for your regular gear. Actually. Because long falls tend to have a specific effect on your potions. Uh, specifically, they tend to break half of your stamina restores. Now we are up above 250 health for both people. I don't remember what we said. too. Actually, fairly fine with that. One of Leviathan and the Varnished Birdwing. He is at max health. I think it was the Daybreak Club and the uh, thing we were leveling up the Footballs of Hope. The only person not at max HP is Camille. I'm not concerned about her missing 20 HP. Now I'm going to show this enemy off. It is just a patrolling enemy. It's a zombie looking enemy. Now Eretz is doing some work.
If uh, the limiter is doing compression on the audio, I do complain. Or er, I can't think of what I was trying to say there. I do apologize. Interesting. Because, of course, it goes away at the end of battle as opposed to most systems. Mm. One, of, one of 44. There's 46 chests down here. Oh no, it's 43, isn't it, that I need to get. Um... These things are kind of beefy. But, uh, that's fine. Since the... His memories are, uh... That memories are easy enough to kill without uh, needing to use SP. Hmm. Not sure which direction to go. Okay, let's grab that. Right up in the corner. Probably actually just compare it against something that doesn't have ridiculously good stats. Um, Rip Bone might have some value for Eretz if it came before the Footfalls of Hope did. doesn't, so it doesn't. Oh, hey. Staff of Sadness. I assume same thing as that memory. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, the important part had already finished regenning, so... more chests down here and we're golden. Or what I re recall is the worst of those three doors. Well, we found the staircase down. I think we probably want to investigate the entirety of this floor, given that the regular enemies are not uh, especially dangerous. And even if they were... Wait a second. Interesting. Apparently some of the regular enemies are ancient nightmares. 
that's worrying. I think it's that faster one here is an ancient nightmare. one here. I'm pretty sure is an ancient nightmare. Okay, I was wrong. Which is good, because two of them would be dangerous. Looks like we are back to where we originally decided. Which way? I think. Was there one before that? I'm gonna check real quick. Because I'm thinking there might have been. Yeah, back here we could have gone right instead. was just chests. Oh, Stabs of sta Sadness seem to have uh, maybe a little bit more HP. seems to depend on, after actually looking at it, uh, whether Camille gets crits or not. I wish we had some more less crit stuff. Less crit consumables, I should qualify that one. Is the 47's great and all. I'd really like it to be better than that. Also, while it's great having enemies we can uh, actually recover from using, I, don't, I think we're already done with that. Well, that's a neat looking sprite. These look very, even more dependent. On if we get crits, then the other enemies w were. Hmm. 
Is that a knight? Or is that a, a horse head knight? That's neat. the red. I have no doubt he is way more dangerous, but... guard and a little bit lucky with crits those are not too too bad they're still uh, effectively a bit of recovery and we could probably make that a little bit more consistent by using lightning Or at least we could if they weren't actually faster than Randolph. I nearly walked into two of them. Still need to have a bit of luck with that sporadic guard. Now, not so much Camille. Camille has, I mean, 92 agility. Uh, you're pretty much very likely to either miss her or have that sporadic guard go off. Defense and 20 HP is not bad. I mean, that's uh, 64 and 32 once leveled, but it's it's not doing anything. Like, even if it had that and sporadic guard, I don't know that that would be good enough to equip on anybody. Just as a flat out definite, here's your sporadic guard item. Eretz's SP is not that relevant.
bunch of noise to grab a cough drop since I can't stop coughing. Okay. So that does appear to be uh, the point at which we are getting uh, 15 regen back from uh, on SP. Film's the one we got already, yeah. I think one of these sets of enemies can drop a, uh, a helm. I don't know if it's the red or the yellow. Like, looking at them, I would guess it's the red. But we need to get lucky with the drop. Parts of this area have sudden transitions, which are neat, but uh, of course respawn everything as well. Given that we have, by necessity, been clearing everything out fairly slowly. I'm not... Uh, Big fan of oh, that's Sure does. First mimic we've seen in a long. Hello, untranslated enemy. actually say. Well, 
it was trying to read text on basically everything there, but, uh, no. Not real sure what it says. A second mimic. That being said, I do think that opening the mimic chests is necessary for chest count. Portrait. I don't think the portrait is, is any good. Well, it's the best Azure Wind item. but it's a okay so it only it only does attack and it provides two hit combo two hit combo would be neat if it weren't for the fact that it's uh, weaker than it's two attacks that are weaker than a regular attack you can't rock your uh, extra attack plus one Plus 24 SP to get those two hits. A real, real huge negative about it. We can do these battles for free, not counting any potential um, cost to Eretz's SP. It makes sense to take this a little bit slow and, and fight these three Grey Knights. not getting crits. Uh, Eretz is actually the better hitter. Kind of crazy how that's uh, that's gone. Okay.
obviously that doesn't grow instantly. the bridge, does it? Now basically whenever you have things like this, you want to uh, kind of be looking for anything that stands out. These are still knights? Yeah. The red ones are a bit less obvious though. Don't uh, don't contrast quite as well. I think that's probably the best move for him to use, given almost everybody having decent uh, dodge chance. That's not true. I think Eretz is only 10-ish. some dodges, it does make things a lot easier. Okay, so there's something on that table. I probably need to fight the yellow knight to get it. And it looks like there's something inside this room up at the top. side of this desk. Wait. Oh. Ah, I don't know. I think certain aspects of this room probably were not um, tested. Okay, so yellow knights are only aggressive if they see you. That's you. Yellow knights are weird. healing to finish up, and then we'll take on the green knight, green knight, gray knight.
standing in the beds just looks kind of weird. Hey, it doesn't work on the, the corners of these do rooms. Oh yeah, wanted to check and see. Yeah, damn it. It's not an enemy that's a huge deal, but that is kind of annoying. Man, HP seems to recover very slowly. Well, okay. They're, they probably recover at the same number of points per minute. Just whatever the percentage per HP is is a lot higher than it is for SP. So they drop the sword. Sword kind of sucks. Just sitting here. Unfortunately, this is one of the kind of downsides of, of the way that this system works. We do tend to have a bit of waiting time due to uh, sitting for recovery. Now, I had forgotten about the way that the stuff works here. But I also lucked out. Because that is a, a save table and a return portal. I'm not going to use either right now. Because they cost money to use. I'll show it off real quick. I need 1500 gold to save. Save game, dude? No. save is reasonable. The 3,000 gold to return is not. For a few reasons. the uh, annoying and sometimes dangerous one of those two. Blue weapon. Hmm. 
No, it's it's not bad. It's SP and defense or uh, HP and agility and just not enough. if you fight too many of these things is just you can't make any progress. Now we, we need good turns by Camille effectively to do anything. is super annoying. But if you can get them on their own, they're not that bad. And I believe that's the case for the majority of the enemies here. The problem is just like the disease. That is a shitty reward given how hard difficult that is to find. I only found it because I was holding left. Because I couldn't tell. Oh. I was thinking we would be able to walk behind the building. Hmm, Rax Knight. throughout here for uh, the very specific reason of I don't want to miss out on anything. So the design here does make me think that there might be a hidden path. from Camille. 50% don't mean shit. I think that's uh, the way the RNG works, though. It seems like if you get one crit, you're reasonably likely to get a second. And... Hey there, enemy using Cutthroat. And I don't have resurrection magic. That's a super huge dick move.
Oh, that's the final level for uh, the footballs. So those provide actually a pretty significant amount of uh, skill and attack. And I don't know how much the contribution to uh, healing there is for skill. But it certainly seems to be helping to make the heals fairly strong. We have enough fragments for five additional bottles. We have used two. Is there an angel or something off to the side there? Oh, that's why. Okay, so what's the black weapon? Reds respawn immediately. Interesting. like the flies in there and how dangerous they are when alone. Unlike the flies, they do actually have an attack though. And enough HP to make fighting them, even on their own, kinda not always worth it. get how that works. This guy has a uh, instant death move. I know that he is more dangerous than most other things. 
to get a decent fucking hit from anybody? No. Crits are apparently fake. Especially Camille's crits. area is tedious and dangerous. But I still have the overwhelming majority of my healing items. So... And I'm in pretty good shape. like the flying uh, Glandelians are no longer in here, the healing ones. Or if they are, they don't fly through walls anymore. First. 
I don't know what to expect here. expect in here is two chests of which I'm expecting at least one to be a mimic for some reason one of the reasons why this one is dangerous. Because it can yell. sure this area is intended to use up a significant amount of your resources. It got five potions from us. And I don't think we're entirely done with it yet. because I know what's in there. And the reward is good. Don't get me wrong. Thank you. 
Well, that is... Which one? Oh, I think it's Hetty is the healer here. I'd like to note, we didn't bring down anybody but Hetty. I don't know why that one's not opening. Also, I don't know why it's not... Wait, did... is going poorly. Basically, this is heavily dependent on a few things. A few things. Uh, one of which is just did you get lucky with stacking them all up? Is of course, did they get lucky with crits? I don't know who else is healing is the issue. I think it's Evangeline. I'm just not sure. There's... Now the reward for this is nice. Constantly getting, you know, essentially one shot by everything. It really doesn't matter how nice the reward is. Oh, I thought we could. I thought these towns worked like they did in, uh, most scenario. Hmm. 
Now the orcs hit a little bit hard for regular overworld enemies. And I think they can... I know they have some special ability that is annoying. Oh, summoning. Yeah, that is real annoying. I assume that what they summon is regular ass orcs as well, so... Meat. Ah, 50 HP. so bad if we weren't so heavily dependent on Camille's crits. Or damage. If we're trying to go without using SP. single light axe is the way to go for this. Feels like Light Axe has really fallen off as far as damage goes against these. bad as I was anticipating. Getting away from 
that cave for the moment. I don't know what that pit is. And of course we're getting poor luck as far as crits go. Because that's the way it always goes. for a uh, Lord of the Rings thing yet, but I'm gonna guess. Got that pet. Oh, it's. I guess reds are non aggressive. Uh, it's the way around the ball rug. fight the Balrog. Good to know about, but a bit late for helping us now. like Andy's playing some Gungeon, which makes sense. He had, you know, like 200 people yesterday on that. Okay. Oh, we looks like we can go further up. Interesting. nothing up here. Well, that's disappointing. as to what's down and all, but I'm also curious as to why we, you know, are having such shit luck with crits. 
that Dragon Slayer. But around why using Dragon Slayer? Actually result in less damage than fuck average. So there's nothing up here, I guess? A chest. So I bet that pit is for bypassing whatever is in the cave. The question, I guess, then comes is how strong is whatever is in the cave? So the reds are Urkai. Looks like they still just summon regular old orcs, though. Regen. has an instant death attack of some kind. Well, that wasn't too bad.
Aside from a volcano near Mordor. This is going to be the One Ring, isn't it? It didn't come up because I missed the text on it, but this is Sarah's sword. And I'm bringing up the text on it real quick, if I can find it. There we go. Aaron Aaron states, Sarah from the Demon King Chronicles battles terrifying enemies like whales and dragons, but the only weapon she carried from the start of her journey was just a single longsword. That longsword was without a doubt a magical sword of enormous power. at various points in time that Aaron Aaron is really bad at character analysis and just analysis in general. That's one of the points I'm making there. Now, imaginary seeds are interesting. Now, the Pinch compensation is you get a percent increase on your damage for like each point of HP you're missing. thought of that. No cheating for us. And that is the way to get here. Now, did we get enough chests? I don't think so. We missed several uh, that I'm aware of, and I think that the 
amount missed is enough to make it so we did not get uh, the 43. Yeah. I mean, we needed to get 45 because of the two in the unmapped area anyway, but I also don't know why that door didn't work. But yeah, we are missing eight currently, which means we are at 255. Unfortunately, there's no real easy way to check that other than just, you know, walking up. I seem to recall most of this stuff doesn't even sell all that well, so it's of questionable use as far as that goes. But just to show that it doesn't. There's this, which obviously I have not shown off. Actually, this might work. Now, we can see that there are as a weapon. completely ridiculous overpowered weapon and an ability I will do my best to get those next time uh, but for now I'm going to show off not actually make but show the two recipes that we acquired Now, lucky rabbit and salt to make rabbit stew. Rabbit stew provides basically none of the benefits of the lucky rabbit. This requires frog meat, imaginary seeds, and salt. I may have fucked that one up. I may have sold the frog meat and it may be unique. It really doesn't matter. I'm not willing to do the opposite of what we did to walk down there to get out with an imaginary seed. Eloanto sadness is good and all. It's not that good. That is it for me, though.